Hey everybody, this is Harkov311 and welcome back, <coughs> excuse me, once again to Victoria 2, of course, as the Ottoman Empire still. It is now uh, 1882, so already we've done decently well for ourselves. Uh, by real life at this point, the Ottoman Empire had lost all this and all this. Uh, and we definitely didn't have this. So already we are doing better than uh, real life Ottoman Empire was by this point. I'm a little bit nervous though because AI Russia has been playing actually quite well. Uh, as you can see they've already grabbed Port Arthur. And they also grabbed a fair bit of the rest of China as well, for that matter. Uh, now the only really upside to that is that it probably means that uh, China will probably have a reactionary period where they won't modernize. So that's one less thing we have to worry about. Oh! Although this is interesting. The British actually uh, took over... Uh, the area they historically took over in southern Africa, but up oh, there's some. It looks like they're trying to get Zambia, but so is France. France got some of the area they historically got. Belgium, though, and Spain uh, went a little crazy. Hmm. This is the first time I've seen where. This is actually one of the first AI games I've seen where Belgium actually got part of Africa without, like, an event or something. Interesting. Well, anyway, let's just unpause and get going. I have to admit, I don't really have much of a plan for dealing with the Russians. Uh, what is their Diplo situation right now? Is anyone friends with the Russians? You know, no one in Europe likes the Russians. They are have all these places in their sphere, and they have Kiva and Bukhara under their thumb. They're probably just going to conquer Kokan, at least I, I'm assuming that's why they haven't sphered it. Oh yeah, and Krakow, but who cares about them? Well, I guess the good news, to the extent that there is good news, is that they're not... Uh, is that they don't have that many friends. The Daily Telegraph has published an article exposing, in a rather picturesque manner, the details of a local politician's love life, which apparently goes far beyond the confines of home and wife. While the article isn't slanderous per se, it's having a clear impact on the reputation of the good name of the politician in question. So, <laughs> so the scandalous slander ends. So, Debrugia... All liberals gain two militancy and gain two consciousness. All populations in Dobrigia become 50% more in favor of free press. Ah, I'm still role playing. We're going to still pretend like we're being. Really, I still can't pass any reforms. Oh, I'm at 40%, yes. Alright, well, we probably need to get militancy up to 3% to pass a reform. I'm actually amazed how badly Germany is playing right now. Well, the North German Federation, anyway. Is Bavarian in their sphere? Nope. Is... Okay, Baden it. 
Württemberg is. Okay, Baden is in Württemberg. What? Well, is, Baden is maybe about to be in their sphere. Let's see. Yeah, Baden is about to be. Oh yeah, what's awkward is that Bavaria is a world power. I'm Actually, hold on. Who is ranked right under Bavaria? Hold on, pause. I'm serious. Like, who is... No, 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 not... Diplo, Diplo. Oh, you're kidding me. Switzerland? I swear, if Switzerland becomes a world power, that would be even more hilarious than Bavaria being a world power. Oh my god, I can't... <laughs> I cannot believe... I still cannot believe Bavaria is a world power. Like, seriously? <laughs> oh my god. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. General, one of our generals died. Oh well. Control them. going on here? Whoa. Oh. Revel oh. Whoa. Okay. Well, damn. Uh, Italy just formed. Uh, the one holdout is Luca, and they're in... Oh, and Italy's at war with them. Oh, Italy is at war with... Uh, wh whoa! <laughs> Alright then! Alright, well... Italian Unification War is going on. Uh, actually, who else is involved, even? Okay, Luca and Austria versus Italy. You know, in real life, this ended up being lost by Austria, but on the other hand, Italy had help in, re in real life. So I don't see this going well for them. Wow, though, this is the first time I've ever actually seen Italy form, uh, like, on its own. Like, I've seen players form Italy. Oh, alright. Luca is out of the war. Hold on, is the war still going on? Okay, so yeah, even though Luca was the next, uh, Austria is still fighting them. Might as well just grab prestige, I don't see why not. Yeah, Italy's getting wrecked. When you only have a third the size of the other power, that's what happens, usually. 
I mean, it's possible Italy might try to get other, other powers involved, but... I don't know, like if... If the NGF uses a Humiliate War Clause against Austria, which they often will do, if... Like, if the NGF isn't able to sphere uh, the middle... the southern German states on their own, they sometimes will do that. And, like, the... Oh. Yep, our navy is continuing to modernize. Good, good, good. Just good. J J Japan, what, what, huh? Oh, Japan has. Uh, sur oh, Japan has westernized. Now they are a great power. All right. I knew somebody would eventually knock Bavaria out. So now Bavaria... Are you getting sphered? Yeah, Austria is totally trying to sphere you, and so is NGF. I predict uh, German NGF intervention, possibly, on... Uh, Alright. Oh wow, okay. Austria has now expanded the war to include releasing Luca and Tuscany. Ooh, monitors! Oh yeah. Yeah, let's just give access to everybody. Get wrecked, neighbors. Wow, okay, this... Suddenly this kind of sleepy game got really exciting. And the best part is, I don't have to fight in it! Yeah, Tuscany credit. Yeah, restore Tuscany. Like, oh, and of course, it happened. Okay, so. Demand. Oh, damn! Japan! <laughs> Just barely westernized. You're already grabbing. Gra trying to grab Taiwan. Figures. Alright, so. Wow. Okay, damn. Austria has bisected Italy by restoring Tuscany. And in addition, restoring Luca, and along with Luca, they've also uh, basically seized the land that used to be Medina, and they've made it part of Luca. Wow, awesome. wow, yeah. That was actually an extremely decisive Austrian victory. Holy crap. Uh, that's pretty humiliating for Italy. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not Italy. And of course, Austria is now allying and sphering the two places they just annexed. Actually, are we making any armies? We're not, are we? Alliance offer from Bav No, 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 no. Not messing with Germany. No chance in hell. Not happening. Yep, and Tuscany has been recreated and is now, of course, under Austria's thumb, as it, of course, will do. I don't like this whole losing money thing. This is not, does not please me. Well, shit. Greece had a revolution. What happened? Greece has had a revolution and is now an absolute monarchy. Damn it, though, that means that we're not... we're no longer... That means... It also means we are no longer they're no longer in our sphere, which is not good. Damn it. Yeah. 
Japan doesn't like China. <laughs> you don't say. This is not new information, newspaper. Alright, well, British built the Suez Canal. As they usually do. This is going to be a source of some shooting in the future, I'm sure of it. Can I just make another army? Let's actually make a real army in Africa, because why not? Homs, where's Homs? doing dur All right, that'll be more effective than what we had before. Let's go back to that. Oh yeah, we got more than enough. Hold on. Oh yeah, we got enough. Alright, so we'll say We've got these soldiers. We might as well train them and give them something to do. Greece. Yes, yes, yes. Let's try to get Greece back into our club here. Now, what was this about ironclads? Hold on. Can we modernize more of the Navy still? Oh. 
Oh, I need a level 3 port. Okay, well. Naval Doctrine. Okay, well, I know what I'm getting next. Yeah, Raider Group Doctrine. Okay. Yeah, that's what we'll be getting next. I'm not gonna do like be like the Ottomans in real life and get let my navy get all out of date. Uh, yeah, that that is a sticky situation. That is. That is not gonna last. I'm calling it right now. Is Bavaria speared yet? And Germany is turbo powering, and who can blame them? Long live the Ottoman Empire. Actually, where was that? Have all these guys group up in Aleppo. Hey, torpedo boats. We can get better with things with Greece again. Yes, please. Ignore. I'm not gonna... Colonial migration. Yeah, ignore. I'm not gonna piss off the Germans. That's a bad idea. Especially since we're just about to form Germany. At least they're probably about to. What is this? Eh. Everyone's fighting over Egypt. <laughs> Egypt's done, man! The Suez Canal is already there. There's no point in wrangling over it now. Oh, 
Oh, we found Tut's Doom. Gained 33 prestige, gained 9,000 research points. Oh. Oh, happy day. Yes. Oh, that's great. That is great. Army, rebuilt the army in Awesome, now we can actually Navy base here. I might as well just also expand the other Navy base. Awesome, awesome. Switzerland doesn't like France, that's kind of out of the ordinary, isn't it? Um, wait a second. Okay, good, they didn't become... <laughs> A major power. For a second, I was a little concerned. Egypt grants military access to France. Alright, so apparently... What? Oh, I bet they want to go to Africa. Yeah, I guess. Alright, whatever. Wait, what? Is there a war? What's going on here? Dutch co- uh huh? <laughs> okay then. Uh, I'm just gonna stay out of this. Yeah, wow, that's going to be an enormous cluster. <laughs> no thanks. Actually, that's about... Actually, that's probably about all we can squeeze in for today, but boy, that was, it's been quite an eventful 30 minutes. Wow, okay, well, maybe next time we'll get Greece back into our pocket, and we'll see how this whole <laughs> ridiculous war in Western Europe pans out. Probably a bunch of nonsense, because that's what Austria did. <laughs> but that's going to be a mess. Uh, anyway, 
catch you guys later, and we'll try to actually do this more often. I, I know I keep getting, saying I get distracted, but I do a regular stream now, so honestly, I get a little caught up in that sometimes, and it's hard to remember to keep doing this. But anyway, uh, catch you guys later. See you. Have a good day. Bye.